Okay, well, I, I got my little uh, cardstock uh, paper motor um, running on an electronic circuit now. And it, it was not easy because of what I wanted to do and how I wanted to do it. Um, there's a lot of ways to, to do this thing. This is just a, a, a two magnets with uh, north on both sides. Um, and then uh, I've got a circuit here, electronic circuit, that's this complementary transistor circuit. But it's not like what I run the long distance uh, runners on with a real fine coil. It's a blinker circuit. It's an LED blinker I found online and then converted it into a, a solenoid engine driver back on the 21st of February last year. And now we're in a, about a year later, and I'm running this um, cardstock paper motor uh, on it. And um, it's okay, it's not great. Um, there's a few things I want to explain here. Uh, it'll run like this on a um, sewing machine bobbin filled with 30 gauge wire. Now, the cardstock motor coil is a lot less than that. It's uh, fewer winds, lower resistance, so you have to dink around with the circuit to get it to work. But um, you start out with a potentiometer here until you find what the right resistance is um, to make the tank circuit work, and then you just put in a regular um, um, tr a resistor. But it's a PNP and an NPN in a complementary fashion with a capacitor linked up to the coil to form a tank circuit. And then the transistor and the dynamic of the electronics here makes it go into a blink. And then the rotor, when it goes by the coil, induces a current into the um, coil and changes the inductance and changes the tank and uh, causes this, the circuit to fire correctly. Um, what I've done here is I've just taken a, th a three uh, farad super cap put about two and a half volts into it from batteries just to show how this runs. There's the blinking, okay, and it's not running. Now if I spin this up, now the motor's running with the blinking circuit. And this is so people don't think I'm blowing on it. This runs for probably a minute. It's real short duration until this goes into a different um, harmonic um, and the blink rate goes to a different blink rate as the energy drains out of that capacitor and the voltage drops down. Now, I have this set up so that it'll run on a AA battery or a AAA battery. Let me see if I can get this hooked up just to show you that it is an electronic electric motor. It's not anything fancy. It's just an electric motor, what they call a pulse motor. But it's unusual in that it's running on a blinker circuit. There's the blinking going on. Let me get the motor to go here. There goes the motor. Put this back on it here. And like I say, the um, it's a blinker circuit. It's an LED blinker circuit. Now, I had to change this around here. Instead of going across the coil, I just went right down to ground with the um, LED. It's like a, um, a snubbing uh, diode thing. Otherwise, it goes into self-oscillation. But anyway, that's the latest with this cardstock motor project. And now I have it running on an electronic circuit rather than the reed switch which was the last one i showed here with this is the reed switch one that runs on a reed switch and here again it's the same capacitor filled up with about two and a half volts from this to make that one work and this one here i've got it running on a volt and a half anyway that's the latest for the um 
cardstock motor, um, paper motor made out of a, a thinner material than you could uh, normally make one of these out of. And you could print this up on a printer. That stuff will run through a printer. And uh, it's uh, in a, when I get all done with this, I'll probably print up the circuit and put the whole thing on here. I may even make a, a, a thing to put all the components on. So you just stick the components on there, wire them up, and then your motor would run. And uh, here again, I'd probably just use this capacitor as the structure to hold all that stuff. And then all you'd have to do is tap it with the battery pack, and it would make a really uh, very interesting desktop toy. Thanks for watching.